It's Jason Gorman here with the second part of the refactoring of the switch statement. Just to recap, what I did was I extracted the individual uh, calculations into their own classes from the switch statement, and then I made all these classes implement the same interface. So we're halfway towards a polymorphic solution. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take advantage of this interface. assigning it the right kind of premium calculator to use. And it's just calculator, isn't it? OK. And now I can actually take this out of the switch statement completely. So we're edging towards our polymorphic solution here. And I can repeat the process here. And then, of course, to break. So far, so good. And then finally for the high risk premium calculator. And there we have it. So now all our switch statement is doing is deciding what kind of concrete premium calculator to use. It's essentially factory logic. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to extract this factory logic into its own factory method. Let's just call it create premium builder. Like so. And we can do a bit of cleaning up here. We don't actually need two lines of code to do this, for example. And in actual fact, I can inline here. And I can also in line here. So it's all down to one line of code now. But of course our switch statement hasn't disappeared. It's still there. Um, and we still need to get rid of it. Before I do that though, these have become redundant. So let's get rid of those. We only needed those so we could do move method really. Right, now a, poly, uh, a, a more object oriented way of doing this might be for example to use a hash map to map the risk factors onto the right concrete premium calculator. So let's just call this calculators. map. Okay, and what we can do is we can work backwards so that we can do this one at a time and work backwards from the high risk premium calculator. So we just put that in there using the right risk factor value. And then this line of code can go here. selected from the hash map so that this case, this default case here, can now disappear. And we can repeat the process that's not working, that's right. Keyboard went dead for a second there. We can repeat the process here. So 
so that this case can be removed. As you can see, our switch statement is now shrinking, and again, apologies for the copying and pasting. Switch statement can go completely, keeping an eye on the test there. Nothing's broken, everything seems to be. Whoops. And do you know why that is? Thank heavens for tests. Now, if a test breaks when you're refactoring and you don't know how you're going to fix it quickly, I recommend you roll back and undo. But in that case, it was just a quick fix. OK, um, just to clean it up a little bit, I think I'm going to move this line of code down here. And then do it all in one line there. And I suppose, in actual fact, succinctly. So there you have it. The switch statement is gone. We've got a polymorphic solution using the strategy pattern. I thank you.